One more minute. Day five of the ski trip. Here we go. So, last night was the pool party. We just woke up. Actually, at the moment, the two girls are up before myself and Hugh. Girl has gone. Ronnie's in the bathroom. Hugh just getting up. That song was really good. Very sleep deprived, as you can probably tell by the, my eyes. Dishwashing is not on fleek, as you can tell. But we're going to be ready very soon. Okay, feel the pressure now. That's severe, isn't it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, this morning, day five of the ski trip, and I've already said that. My three lessons are now finished. Uh, I may book another one, but for today I won't be. And we're going to be trying out some more difficult slopes. So there's four different categories of difficulty when it comes to slopes. There's green, which is the easiest. Then this is getting harder. Blue, red, black, and black diamond. So, I tried out a green one yesterday. That was this. Today I'm going to try out some blues and greens as well but they're on like a different side of the mountain so you can probably go up and get some really cool views and just get some more interesting shots as well. Yeah, basically that's the story this morning and now we're just going to get properly ready. This is close to my ski gear so you have your, your under armour, your fleece, your base layer and then you put your ski jacket over this and your ski trousers on and uh, I've also got my ski socks on which go up basically all the way up my leg. So um, let's get ready. Right, first step, get a baguette. For some cereal, all very expensive. Five eighty nine, two eighty nine. We don't really want cocoa puffs. Looks like this is probably the cheapest thing we're gonna find. That actually, tastes good as well. I'll grab some Avion. What? We're gonna get some milk. A liter. Okay, we've been hooked up with our baguettes and all our food, and it's too cumbersome to carry everything and film everything at the same time. So. We're going to head straight back to the appartement. Oh, fancy meeting you here. So as you can tell from all the washing and stuff, we don't have a lot of cutlery to spare, so I think I'm going to do some washing up now. Just so I don't look like a loner, Hugh it has to go now, so... Bye, Hugh. We'll yeah. see him in the evening time. This ain't gonna be perfect, but let's try it. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, lads, it's not perfect, right? But it is a lot better than when we started. So I just went through all the clips from last night, and uh, it's pretty funny. So, like, the pool party was in a actual like commercial swimming pool as you can tell from the footage it was very dark so i'm hoping that when i put it into the final cut that i can bring up the light in it a bit gopros work well when there's a lot of light but they don't work as well when there's less light so there was a dj there was slides there was a pool that you could jump into other than that we got like people got tokens to get drinks <clears throat> right everyone so all that stuff is finished and uh, meeting the guys in about eight minutes i really gotta hurry and yeah, enjoy the GoPro footage. It's all you ever talk about, it's all you ever talk about. It's all you ever talk about, it's all you ever talk about. It's all you ever talk about, it's all you ever talk about. It's all you ever talk about, it's all you ever talk about
talk about It's all you ever 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 talk about Man, I was like, I was like tiring. <laughs> My pants, because of going in snow so much, were real heavy. So every time I walked in the street, my pants would be here, right? And then they just like slowly but surely like fall down. So it was like this. Oh God, there we go, Chris. Hold on, hold on. Boom, let's go outside. That was the longest that I've ever been out skiing. We were going from like, 11 and I'm back at half three, so that's like four hours. Yeah, like it was good, you know what I mean? Like I hadn't done blue slopes before, that was good. I didn't mean to lose Joe, so what happened was we went up, we tried some stuff in the snow park. I will say this, like I'm not good at skiing, but I'm good at getting back up, and that's very important. It's like, I feel, I feel like that in life as well. I'm not necessarily the most talented, but I counter punch, so. I was always good at getting back up, did a few, or like was able to do a couple of jumps at the end actually, lost my camera at one stage as well, which is funny and found it again. There was a point at which we were going to separate and then go to, uh, or sorry, go down the slope and go to a restaurant. But I think I went too far right on one stage and I went to the wrong restaurant. And there wasn't any lift going back up to where I could go down again. So instead, what I did was go down the green and blue slopes. Fell a couple times, but it finishes up very far away from where our accommodation is. So basically, right, I was off with everyone this morning. We were doing fine. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> There's this turn, right? Right, and Joe is like, we'll go to the restaurant nearest the snow park. You know, the snow park is where we're doing all the jumps. And I literally, last time I saw Joe, I was like, I think I took a right. I went to a different place called La Folly Deuce. So I couldn't really see. I actually didn't have the map with me, which probably could have been a good idea. I couldn't see a way to get down via a lift. So just after going down a bunch of green slopes, like all the way back over there, and then a blue slope, and like I fell many times, but that's not a problem. But now we have to like walk back all the way this way. So as you can see from the GoPro clip, like I was quite far away, um, but luckily just about found the bus, and that's free as well. So I got back. So I'm back now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head off to Apre Ski now. Apre Ski, obviously, if you do French, Apre means after. Apre Ski is where after skiing, there's a there's a pub called Cogorico, and you go and they have like bands there for a couple hours after people are finished skiing. They leave their ski, like skis and poles and stuff outside, and you just have a drink and have a good time. Then go home, eat, sleep nap whatever get ready for the night so uh we're gonna get ready for that now and i just rewatched that footage there and i look like i'm i got hit in the face and i'm really really sad but uh yeah that's just how you feel when you come off the slope because like i haven't drank any water in ages so you feel real dehydrated and like sore in the head and this is day five now so we're all running on severe lack of sleep um because you stay out really really late so <sighs> anyway We'll stay positive. We've got a lovely chorizo sandwich here, which I'm gonna chow down, as you can see. Voila! Oh god. Let's do a little cinematic sequence. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. The mother don't know how to act. Yeah. Ah, my bum is wet. Get in there, sausage. Mm. Eventually. Okay, lads, ready. <clears throat> no, I don't have my shoes on yet, but anyway, gotta go to Coco Rico now. See you there, Bo. Bo? Bro. Yeah, 2017, what up? 
beer, new year, new me, fuck you, do I, who I, you should get familiar with the new guy, bout to run the next 365, pop pop for my collar cause I'm 36 fly, yeah, bout to run the whole game until you can't stand it, in the studio a week, got a freak habit, cause I'm white and I rap now, I'm V-Rabbit, turn the other cheek at it and I keep at it, 703-540, low cold motherfucker, just so all y'all know, yeah go, I had numb hands, shovel the snow. Right, back from Coco, ready to go. Nice chill vibes over there. We thought it was going to be a DJ, but it's actually, he's coming at half five. Yes, we're now going there now. <laughs> now it's a quarter to six. I need to go off and post that video. My head actually feels so much better now, oh, after all the music and stuff, which is, which is good as well. Six hours later. Done a bit of work there and stuff, and uh, yeah, we're going to get our stuff together, go to the tourist office, and maybe go back to Coco Rico for a bit, because the DJ's there. Okay. Right, after the tourist office. I must say, the weather in this place certainly has prevented me from ever wanting to say again that Ireland is a very cold place. Oh. So we're back in the city centre to use the tourist office. Tourist office Wi-Fi is lightning fast. Uploaded a big long YouTube video in about 10 minutes. Earlier on this week, oh, out of breath. We have reached the Mecca. So yeah, I was half debating there whether or not I should go back to Coco Rico's, but sent um, Hugh a text and he said that nobody's there. So um, what we're going to do is we'll do a little, nice little cinematic return back to the apartment, but we won't go the shortest route. We'll go around whatever looks coolest. for an edit, but all your three roommates are asleep. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to the second episode of Cooking with Thomas. On today's menu we have chorizo and rice. Bruh. Step number one, pour water into pot to boil. Step two, when your roommate tells you that the rice absorbs the water, put more water into the pot. Step three, turn on banging tunes and also increase the temperature from one PS, to the Tony. maximum. PS, hashtag hi Tony Brown. Yeah. Step four, get the chorizo. Step five, cut said chorizo. Step six, have a shower before the rice boils. Step seven, look fresh and be a bit quicker in the shower because Hugh's already moved on to steps seven and eight. Step eight, make sure your chorizo is really well done, otherwise you risk some form of food poisoning. Step number nine. When the rice is done, pour off the boiling water and don't pour off the rice. I don't know if he told you, but uh, they burnt the chorizo and the rice is, uh, well, it's not really rice at the moment. Oh! Step number 11, cut the bag. That was Hugh is doing. Well, uh, I did home ec in school and I got a C for my living. Bon appetit. So this is what remains of the dinner. It was very nice. As you can see, I didn't eat a lot of my rice, but he did eat a lot of his rice. This evening is superheroes and villains night, and I am... Oh, I don't know. Maybe Lord Voldemort. Harry Potter. And here's my wand. So everybody else be getting their makeup on. We got many heroes and villains with us this evening, Flash. Harry Potter, as you can see, Kung Fu Master, the Domino's Pizza Man, all of the above. So, uh, yeah, I'll stick up some Snapchats of what goes on. What's up, everyone? So, this is the morning after last night. Uh, because we got back so late, I forgot to film the outro for the vlog. But basically, what we did was, as you can probably see from the Snapchats, we went to a pub first, and then we went to a nightclub called Le Graal, which is about 50 meters down the road from our accommodation here. Um, in Val d'Azur. So yeah, it was pretty good. As you can tell, I'm looking fairly terrible and sounding like I'm about to get sick. That's because a combination of lack of sleep and inadequate nutrition over the past couple of days definitely has had its effect on me. Uh, and in some ways, I'm looking forward to getting back to normal stuff like that when I get home. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is the final day of the ski trip, uh, which is basically the final vlog of this little adventure we've been having over the past couple of months. Um, so as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could give it a like rating. Other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. <laughs>